now day four and it looks like it's gonna rain all day <laughs> so we just got up we had breakfast because breakfast is included in here and it was actually amazing i'm so surprised i feel like everything was delicious and I just feel like if you have breakfast included it's normally not anything to write home about but it was really good so it's supposed to rain all day but that's not gonna stop us <laughs> we're still gonna go out and explore we have raincoats and an umbrella to bring with and we'll try to stay dry but also i mean it is what it is and we're also wearing like our kind of like junkier shoes because we don't mind if they get wet but yeah today's plan is we're gonna go to murin and then there's another town nearby that we're gonna go to i think it's gimmawald and then there's a third one they're all kind of like connected on our way back to our bruni once we go up there so that's the plan we'll just take it one bit at a time it might change just because the weather is um not the best today but that's all right we're staying positive and still gonna get out and explore so i'm excited and ready to head out for the day we did have a little bit of a fly-in and we woke up at like 8 30 i think so yeah now it's time to get moving <laughs> Okay, just made it up to Mirin. I don't think you can see the birds. It's such a cloudy day. You can't see as much of the view. Like all the mountains are kind of covered by the clouds, but still it's like breathtaking. You just can't really see it as good can't today. Can't see the top. Yeah. So yeah, made it to Mirin and you're gonna have to, cause I have to keep it under the umbrella. Made it to Mirin, gonna be a rainy day and we're just gonna explore as much as we can and make the most of it. Yep. Okay, here's Ooh, a little. Sorry. That's all right. A little shot of some of Mirin. And I don't know why, but it seems like everything's closed. It must be the rain. The rain and the season. We saw some signs that say open in May. Yeah. And today's May 1st, but maybe they. With taken, bad weather. Taking a little extra holiday because they figure they're not missing much tourist business. Right. So. Right behind us, this, this restaurant has a nice outdoor patio. Probably be a good spot to hang out, have some food and drink, but you not, gotta get in the not on a day like today. All right. Okay, we found um, another interesting vending machine. You can get, I think that's Postcard? postcards, a poncho. I have no idea what that is. Uh, oh, it's it looks a, like a sled. <laughs> it's a sled. And then you can get blocks of cheese from here. That's amazing. And then <laughs> jar of jelly. Yeah, or jar of jelly. Some. Oh my gosh, some eggs. What's oh, on the right there? The sausage? Some eggs. Some bratwurst. Yeah. Sausage. And then some drinks. A cup of sun. Oh. Yeah. The vending machines here are amazing. I feel like you just never know what you're going to get out of yeah. them. <laughs> I love it. To go to the honesty shop, but it's closed. Yeah, this Hi. cat won't let us in. Oh, you are sweet. It's their guard kitty. Yeah, it is the guard kitty. <laughs> they're like, nope, you're not going in there. Oh my gosh, this makes me miss my kitties. There's five beers in there just waiting to be bought. I wonder why it's closed. I don't know. The sign definitely says closed, though. I know. Dang, that's a bummer. Well, maybe we can come back when we're in, um... Interlocking? Yeah. Oh, here, the, it's their famous beer. Schwarzmonk? 
Why ever to be the only Swiss beer to ever be highest rated in the world. Wow. Oh, there you go. <gasps> oh my gosh. I love you. Oh, I don't need kitty butts in yeah, the video. No, no. I love this cat. We're in um, Gimmelwald now. And oh. it's such a sweet little sleepy town. I love this cat. And I don't know, it seems, I'm just guessing most things are closed when it's bad weather. Poor weather, and it's probably like the very start of their tour season. Yeah, I don't know. This town's really cute. Bunch of construction going on right now. I gotta go pet this cat some more though. Hi. You're cute. You're getting your fill because you miss our cats. Back I know. Home. I wish I had some treats to give him. Hi. Hi. Cutie. Such a sweet cat. That's so sweet. Hi. Uh huh. store and it's like an honesty shop so you pick what you want and then put your money down here <laughs> which is amazing I feel like there's so many of these for food and little shops that's so cool Sorry, this, is this shop holding all right here's the view this is Gimmelwald's little lookout point it's crazy you can see all the waterfalls, which is yeah. just amazing. How many can you count? I count one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, seriously, look at this. <laughs> and if you look, if you want to show them this. Yeah. You look through yeah. yeah, so like all we all we can see is this green ridge right here and below, and then all above it is all the snow capped mountains and the young frau, which is the tallest peak. Mm -hmm. We can't even see it because of the clouds. Yeah, so this view is amazing. And if you come on a clear day, it would be like even 10 times better, way better. Yeah, yeah. um, we both agree too. I feel like the views here are better than Mirren. The views in Mirren. Yeah. Um, but I mean, still, Mirren was a cute town to walk through, and it's probably better when it's not as cloudy and yeah. rainy, and maybe a little more things are open. So. Yeah, I think Mirren is definitely more. It's bigger, and there's more to do. There's more shops and, and yeah. restaurants and such. Uh, Gimmelwald's a lot smaller. It has like one cool little beer garden, mm -hmm. like restaurant area. And the rest of it just looks like. Lodging. I think the the there's a map at the beginning so there's maybe like two restaurants. I uh -huh. can't remember. So but either way, if you're coming out to this area, Gimmelwald has to be on your list. Oh these, yeah. These views are insane. Incredible. And it's very quiet and Sleep, peaceful. sleepy, peaceful. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I would definitely recommend it. So nice. I just got off the what do you even call those gondola gondola and now we're gonna do the walk from Steckelberg to La Arbrunnen and look at this amazing waterfall it's still raining but we're not worried about that <laughs>
Okay, we're on the trail from, what is it? Schultzberg or? Steckelberg. Steckelberg? I think. Into Lauterbrunnen. And let me just flip you around. Um, it's what? How do I get you in here? I'll just tuck in here. Okay, there you go. I'll it's I'll about an hour, 15 minute walk or something. Mm -hmm. um, it's raining, but I think it got colder here. Yeah, it's but definitely I, chillier. I do know at the end of this trail, there should be a hot, it's like a coffee stand, and I'm getting some hot chocolate. That's gonna be my treat. So that's all I'm thinking about. That's our motivation. <laughs> yeah, but it's still, I mean, it's raining, but it's like still a beautiful walk, and the rain's not that bad. No. And we bought a second umbrella. Yeah, at so the store we, and... we have obviously a hat and gloves and coats yeah. and umbrellas, and we're perfectly comfortable. Right. But as you're walking, you just get amazing views along the way. Can you see? Like that. I'm like trying not to get the camera wet, yeah, but yeah, it's a, uh, it's a trek. Ah, oh, I would say waterproof shoes are probably a good idea for this trip, but this isn't the only country we're visiting, so we didn't really want to pack boots and stuff. So yeah, should we keep trekking? We shall. All right, let's go. Uh, veggie pizza and fungi pizza and gonna dig in we're at a cafe called flavors that's really good Matt got lemon ice cream I don't know why because it's so cold and I got lemon cake and it looks amazing Do a they knew I was gonna share it with you. Yes, they did. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Put down the fork. <laughs> okay, you wanna try it? I do. Alright, <clears throat> here goes nothing. It's really good. It looks really good. I'm getting the brownie tomorrow though. I'm already planning a visit here tomorrow. I was choosing between this and the brownie. It is vegan. Ooh. Delicious. I might get that tomorrow. Yeah, so good. All right, gonna eat these and then probably head back to the hotel for a little bit. Okay, we made it back to the hotel. It's probably, I have no idea what time it is. 2.45. 2.45, I was gonna guess around three. And we're gonna relax, take it easy, because we've been going for like all day in the rain. So I think we're gonna chill for a little bit here and then We'll probably do something for dinner and we might go back out on the town after relaxing for a little bit and do a little like shopping and just browse the shops. But yeah, that's a little game plan. The food we ate um, today and yesterday, the food was all right. But the dessert was so good at the coffee shop and I'm trying to think of what else. Oh yeah, we'll definitely go back to the coffee shop because that food was amazing and inside of it was super cute. So. That's a little catch up. Now have a little chill time. We're at the Horner's Pub now. Got two, what are these, pints? Yeah, two pints. And we're just gonna chill and enjoy them because, I don't know, we're not hungry at all because we had a late lunch and then we had dessert and we wanted to get out. But we didn't want to go anywhere crazy because it's still like raining. We didn't want to get soaked again. Mm -hmm. So it's about 5.30? Yeah, 5.30. So we're just gonna chill here and enjoy the view. Have a couple of drinks and maybe. Maybe we'll get a snack later, but mm -hmm. it's gonna be a kind of like a chill evening in La Bruna. Yeah, it's also very quiet. I feel like, I feel like nobody's here right the, now. The rain kept everyone away or everyone's home napping or doing something because yeah, this, time, this time last uh, yesterday, the street was packed with people. Mm -hmm. This club was packed. So I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe it'll pick up later. Yeah, that's true. All right. Anyways, okay. We're gonna Taste do test. Oh yeah, cheers. So these, these are two new beers. These are um This one's a spring one. Spring one. That's the original. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it. It's like Feld Feldschlossen. 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 Alright, cheers. Cheers. Mm. I like that. The you do like one. it? Mm-hmm. Like it's mine. the best one yeah. I had so far. Alright, let's let's do a switch. Swap. Switch switch. 
Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's better. I also like you. Uh, mine better. <laughs> that works out? Yeah, perfect. All right. Uh, we're gonna enjoy now. Now we're gonna actually drink it. Yeah. Deal. <laughs> I never thought in a million years I would order this, but he ordered himself a hot dog. They sounded good. <laughs> and he got another beer. And, and this is know. my first one still. They, they bring like little fried. Looks like onion bits. Little fried onion bits or something. Yum. I was like, we're in Switzerland. It's German culture. Swiss culture, but German. Yeah. Maybe hot dog would be good, so. Cool. Enjoy. Not bad. Yeah. Alright, and here's the thing I was looking forward to some onion rings. They look good. They smell so good, too. Okay, we just got back to our hotel room. I'm just out on the patio right now, but it's fun. It's like actually really cold tonight, so. Um, we tried to go to this one cafe we thought had a chocolate and they're supposed to be open till seven anyways they're already closed so <laughs> we're not getting hot chocolate and earlier we went to the earlier we went to a grocery store around here just to get some swiss chocolate in case i don't know we wanted something sweet and dessert so we'll probably eat that tonight i think i'm gonna have a bath because i am freezing and i just honestly i cannot get over the view from our hotel room, it's insane. I think I'm gonna have a bath and we'll probably chill for the rest of the night cause it's gonna get dark soon and it's really cold out. So we just spent a couple hours at that Horner pub. We just hung out, had some snacks and Matt had a couple beers, I had one and that was it. We weren't really hungry for a full on dinner. So probably get in our pajamas after I take a bath. <laughs> okay, we're out on our little porch here just enjoying the weather and watching ah we're watching all these clouds just like float by they're all like floating to the left and we can finally see the mountain peaks again and then this one's starting to show up again too but it just got covered but can you sh can you show those ones up there yeah you can kind oh, of yeah. tell oh yeah for yeah sure. you can see them also show them james bond oh wait you can't see james oh, bond. let me show you james bond if i can It has a face. It scared me. <laughs> it has a face that freaked me out. Um, the room next to us is a James Bond themed room, so because you can take several, what are they called, gondolas up, gondolas. up to the Piaz Gloria or something. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it's called. And then it's where they shot one of the James Bonds movies. So there's a bunch of like James Bond stuff there. How many times can I say James Bond? James Bond. It doesn't even sound right. James Bond. Oh, we didn't, we're not going up there. We don't plan to, but if you're into that, you should totally check it out. For sure. But, oh, we did see the cameras, and it was like a blizzard up there, so I'm glad we didn't check it out. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. They, they have like, uh, live like, cameras. Like live webcams that you can yeah. look at to see what it looks like on top of the mountain. Right. It didn't look good. No. Okay, so now, anyways, show them what we're about to do. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> we got some chocolate from the store made in switzerland mm -hmm. so it's probably not gonna be as good as the one we got in geneva because that was like a delicacy yeah like a little chocolate chop but a little, um, uh, not a patisserie but a chop, like a, chop I, don't I don't know specialty Del chocolate store so ali picked up this one i think it's like frigor it's i know it's dark chocolate frigor said, nor i think it's dark nor because i yeah i wanted dark Anyways, chocolate and i picked out um this alba uh, salted, salted caramel because I'm a sucker for anything. So, I'm just gonna set you on this chair so I don't have to hold you. I have pajamas, obviously. Because she lives in them. I do. Alright, here goes nothing. I'm excited. I'm glad we, find, we bought dessert ahead of time because stuff closes early and. Can't rely on it. Yeah. It's pretty good. Could be darker. It's Mine's pretty... delicious, but it's not like there's no like ooey gooey caramel in it. It's like little clusters. Let me try yours. Oh, I see what you mean. Mm -hmm. Like it's like crunchy. Mine has like a center. Well, I like yours. Yeah, mine's better. This one's too milk chocolate. I know you don't like milk chocolate. Mm -mm. Mine's good though. It has like a. Yeah. What kind of center do you call that? Um, like a mousse. Mousse or truffle, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this one's better. All right, honestly, the rest of the night, we're just gonna hang out on our little patio. It seriously reminds me of like Hobbington, like the Shire, like something from Lord of the Rings. And I don't know if I said this in the video already, but 
Tolkien came here in, what did it say, like, 1911? 1911, 1911, yeah. Yeah, 1911. Came to Law Arbrunen. And, and he loved it. And they say it inspired him for the... Um, Rivendell. Rivendell. R Rivendell. Rivendell for the, like, the home of the elves, which is amazing. I'm like, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. So, I obviously love Lord of the Rings and all that jazz, so that excites me. But I just think that's amazing, like... I know. How cool is it to like go somewhere that like inspired someone to write something in a book? Like that just blows like, my mind. Like Lord of the Rings, like yeah, like Lord of the Rings, right? Something amazing mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Like something well known and like everybody knows about it. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, love it. Anyways, I wish I could watch Lord of the Rings tonight. <laughs> we'll work on that. We'll see if we can get on our phones or something. But probably gonna be sitting on the patio eating chocolate. And then watching the movies to end our night because it's still raining and cold. And cold, so we're gonna be like tucked in tonight. And we have a big day tomorrow. True. So stay tuned for that.